New <laughs> subscribers! J.R. Ewing from Saskatchewan, Canada. Yeah, that's Who shot J.R.? That's Sasquatch. Sasquatch, yeah. That's where the Sasquatch lives. Yeah, you know you can't cool. see him because of magic. Oh, is that right? I heard that was a, that was a TV show I laughed at one time. <laughs> a guy actually said that. Why can't you see him? It's magic. <laughs> you can't argue with magic. Oh, oh it's magic. magic. <laughs> Lauren and Kaleeb in Tempe, Arizona. Hey, they're, no, they're right near us. That's Tempe. Oh, Tempe. I thought it was Tempe. No, no, the E is silent. <laughs> We'll be right back. <laughs> Well, good morning. Welcome to Wake Up. Where we wake up. I'm Pastor Jason. I'm Pastor Scott. And welcome. We're going to do a morning scripture. We're going to pray every day. Where are we going to be today? We are going to be in Psalms 149.4. What an incredible message you have. But we want our new subscribers yes. to do what? Type in where you're from right now in the comments. We like to read that on Wednesdays. And put your right arm in. And put, take your right arm out. All right, Shake just... it all about. <laughs> uh, we're going to do a comment Wednesday. We like to read comments on Wednesdays. And we got uh, Adriana Garnasia. That reminds me of our son. He would say, Mom, I want a cheeseburger with no cheese. <laughs> I love that. Because <laughs> we're one... talking about how Savvy wants chicken and waffles. Yeah. But she's like, uh, but no waffles. I'd rather have eggs. So you want chicken, chicken and, and eggs? eggs? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's like saying, going to Andy's Custard and saying, yeah, I'll have the uh, hot fudge sundae, but hold the fudge. Throw some strawberries and shortcake in there. <laughs> Not even so you want a strawberry shortcake? Yeah, that's what I want. Exactly. <laughs> um, Yi Wong writes, My sleep schedule is different from others, so I actually watch this right when it's posted. California, 1 a.m. I listen before I sleep and rewatch when I wake up. That's pretty cool. I love that. So that's our first watcher. I think Yi Wong probably beats everybody by we watching We should have a contest. First. Always type in, I'm first. Yi if Wong, the... yeah, yeah, do that. Type in, I'm first. Every time. Yeah. I want to know every I day know who's, who's first. first. Every, yeah. uh, Lauren Jessen says this, and this, is, this math boggles me. I've started selling Bibles at 4 to $5 each and donating $50 of each sale to Feeding America. <laughs> I feel like... And I'm not, I guess I am a businessman. You're losing man. a lot of money on this. <laughs> Every time you sell a Bible, you're losing about 45 bucks. I, I think they're selling in bulk. I know, that's what okay. I said, but I thought okay. that was funny. Yeah, okay. I was like, $4 getting five. So what okay. an incredible message. Okay, Thank so, you. and you said this after you're like, because I, I told you, I said, your message rocked. I like, and you're like, how I do you make message. humble... <laughs> you, no, you it's true. How do you make a teaching? Like, like hey, no I'm going to teach, teach on humility for the next 30 minutes. People are like, yeah, I'm out. <laughs> Like T.D. Jakes I'm is, not isn't to on for, for, you know, half a million viewers. And today, humble. <laughs> humble. Humble, 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 humble. Let's get ready to humble. <laughs> I walked right into that one. I loved it. Uh, and yeah, so you did. On, I taught on humility. But really, this the idea of being teachable and always positioning yourself in a place of growing. Right. Because I, I mentioned in 2 Peter uh, and chapter 1 about how it, it kind of says, add to your faith goodness and to goodness yes. knowledge and knowledge self-control. And it kind of goes through this list of all these things we can be adding and growing. And then it says, for if, you, if these are yours and you abound in them, yeah. you will not be unfruitful uh, in your womb or in your, yeah, in, in right. your fruit. And, I th and it's crazy because we were, we were talking about different subjects this week, but they really were kind of in the same way that one of the keys to, I think, moving to being fruitful in life. Like, yeah. it's, like it's one of, the, one of the most important ingredients, if not, because if you're not humble, you can't learn, you can't grow, and you can't... This is useless No, it's if, true. if you can't yeah. learn. If you already know everything, and, and that, that's the, the definition of pride, in my right. opinion. The definition of pride is when I go, no, I already know that. I already I know everything. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. And I think it's coming to a position to say, I don't know everything. And when you, when you begin, to, I didn't really get into this, but when you, the power of the ask. I didn't right. get to do it in my, my teaching, but there's a power in asking. Right. When you go to someone and you ask a question, you're humbling yourself in that position. Oh, that's really good. Uh, to say, I need, I need help in my I marriage, don't know so it all. I'm going to ask. I need help in raising kids, I'm going to ask. I need help getting out of debt, I'm going to ask. And, and Jesus said to the woman at the well, if only you had known who was standing in front of you and what water I have to offer, you'd have asked me right. for water. The power was in the ask. I wonder how many people walked by, listened to Jesus, and didn't ask. Right. They, they had Jesus there, and they didn't ask. The Pharisees were smarter than Jesus in their own mind. They really were. They were always just trying to prove him wrong yeah. rather than soak up yeah. the Son of God's information. I wonder how many times people sit back and they're like, oh, whatever. Well, the only time that, that Jesus uh, really broke down eternal life for us was when one of the Pharisees, Nicodemus, snuck out at night yeah. away from everyone. He had to be. And he went to Jesus and he asked right. the question. 
Jesus was re- was always saying, "Ask and you'll receive." Just ask me. Yeah. Just ask. And and so I th- I think that when when we walk through life thinking we already know everything, we stop right. asking. I think some of our biggest mistakes in life, some of our biggest pitfalls, have been when we thought we knew it. Yeah. And we had it all figured out. So Psalms four one forty nine four says, "For the Lord takes delight in His people." Right. Once again, God loves us. He crowns the humble with victory. Mm. Well, I'm just not seem to be winning. Well, if you're not winning, maybe you need to, as Jason said, do some asking. So yeah, what, what the power is, I'm gonna go back to church. The power of church is you go to church, you worship God, and then in a way you're humbling yourself to go, okay, these are the things I need to work on this week. That's true. This yeah. is the download. Yeah, yeah, it, it's, it's that willingness to go, all right, you know, even just asking your spouse, hey, how can I love you deeper? How can I love you right. more? How can I love you better? How can I be a better dad? I want to be a better dad. How can I, I be, be a better husband? Boss? I want to be a better boss? How can I be a better employee? And they're oh, like, wow. and they're like well, let me, give you a, let me give you a couple things. Yeah. Right? Because oftentimes we're like, well, I'm such a good employee. They just don't honor, they don't do it at the job. But come to find out, you're not doing what they need you to do. You're doing what you want to do oftentimes. Mm-hmm. And when we open up our hearts and we begin to, I think there was a period in my 20s and most 20-year-olds where I knew a lot. Yeah. Come to find out, and they say this, it's funny, the older you get, the more, the wiser you get. And wisdom is, I don't know much. <laughs> That's wisdom. Well, wisdom, think, yeah. wisdom just goes, I don't know. It's true. When you're a teenager, I, I loved it. I knew everything when I was a teenager. <laughs> you're like, oh, mom, like, you're out of touch. You're out of touch. You know, that's what people, that's what you think when you're a kid. You're right. like, They're, my parents are out of touch. They don't know what's going on in the world. I know better than them. And, uh, and so it's so funny. As you get older, you start to realize well, how funny I was when I was a teenager. Right. And yet, we can still find ourselves in that same trap where we're like, yeah, I already know that. I've right. already been here. And so Jesus what, uh, said this when he was talking about the sower and the seed. He said, some of the seed falls on, the farmer sows the good seed, right? That's right. Christ. He's sowing the good seed. And he says, some of it falls on the path. And the path is that place you've already been, you've already trampled it down, you keep trampling it down. And what's interesting about that is if, if Jesus is trying to sow seed on the path, it means you're standing where you're not supposed to stand. It means you're walking where you're not supposed to be oh, walking. Wow. He's like, no, no, I'm supposed to grow stuff here and you right. keep walking over the top of you it. Keep making, you keep doing the same thing. And so you go, well, what does that mean? It means that you keep saying, oh, I've already seen this movie. This is how I've always done it. This is just what I do. Right. This is how I do things. And you're rejecting the truth of the word. Right. Because of habits, and that's ruts. And you know what's funny is people oftentimes with their habits and their ruts. And I think it's a lot. It maybe is pride in a weird way when you go, well, that's just who I am. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm. You know, I'm just an angry person. That's just who I am. Mm-hmm. And you go, but you, see, that you're lacking humble because you can learn how not to be an angry person by getting in it. Well, you know, I'm just high strung. That's who I am. I've always been high strung. Gotcha. But the Bible says, he says, give me all that heaviness. I'll take it on and you take on my yoke, which is light and easy. Mm -hmm. He says, if you'll learn from me, right? And then he says, says, if you'll learn from me, then life gets easier. You don't have to be high strung. And so we don't have to attach to those things that limit our life. God's a limitless God. And every time that we attach to something that limits us, right? Well, you know, I was just born. This is the way I was. I, my dad was this way. My mom was that, you know, and I'm just going to be the same way. I don't need nobody to help me raise kids. No, I don't, I don't. need nobody to tell me how to be married. <laughs> right. I don't I need know. nobody to tell me my job or they got this new software. I'm not going to learn that new software. Oh, that's, that's dumb. Sober. The old software worked good. The new boss, he's got all these new ways. She's got all these new ways of doing things. That's not how we do it here. Right. I know what makes success in this company. I've been here longer than the boss has been here. I'm not going to listen. And so what happens though is what? We're not teachable. Yeah. Maybe there's some new stuff we need to learn. Maybe there's some reason why that person's been put in your life. Maybe God put people in your life, and if we'll open our ears, we might hear and learn some new information. I think that one of the most powerful things we can do is be teachable our whole life. Mm -hmm. Well, you can't teach old dogs new tricks. You can if the old dog decides that he wants to learn some new tricks. Yeah, or maybe just decide I'm not going to be an old dog. Right. I'm going to grow. I don't want to be an old dog. I don't want to be an old dog. So open up your mind <laughs> mm-hmm. to continue to learn, to grow. You know, and I was thinking about this in this environment. I've been uh, watching some stuff on the other side as far as politically. I've been watching that because okay. I want to find out, right? Okay, I want to be open. Does that make sense? Well, it's the opposite of what people are doing right now. Right. If like I just as soon as I hear that you're not on my political party, then I hate you. Right. I, and I you have nothing you to offer me. I'm, right. never, I'm not going to listen to you about anything. 
Well, there, there's got to be a reason that half of America thinks this way and half thinks that way. So what things do we have in common? And come to find out, there's a, there's, there's a vein of commonness of just a group of both sides of good people that really just want the best for America. Mm -hmm. How do we come together? We listen to one another. We continue to one another to grow and mature in our thinking. We don't get locked in, right? I, don't, I think the worst thing you can do in any relationship, like marriage, well, I'm a good husband. Well, well okay. you can get better. Yeah, you can always ask. The ask, again, just the power of the ask and asking people, why do you feel that way? How do you think about this? And then valuing what they say. You don't have to agree with them. You don't, right. have, to be, you don't have to be changed because of the, what they say. You just simply have to go, hmm, that's interesting. I value that. You know, that and then, I understand what you're saying. And then crockpot it. Yeah. I, I've changed in the last 20 years. There's a lot of my thinking has been changing because I continue to challenge my thoughts. I think that's a hard thing is when you have thoughts and you don't challenge it. You have beliefs and you yeah. never challenge your beliefs. There are some things spiritually that I believed 25 years ago yeah. that I don't believe today. Because and how I, did that happen? Through challenge. Yeah. challenge. I listen to other speakers and other people. So you, and go into, you go into God's house, and if you hear something you don't agree with, you, you, well, it's, it could be the truth of God, the Word of God right. coming at you. Because it you're cuts. Like, you're like, well, that's not how I do it. I, this is how I'm walking my path. You know, maybe the Word of God comes and, and, and tells you, you know, uh, a principle, right. a pattern to live by, a, a better way of life. But you go, but that's not how I live. Okay, well... So, so what are you going to do? Right. What was the take guy? the challenge? You go. Okay. Well, God's going to be right, and I'm going to be wrong. So I'm going to go with what God says. What about the guy that missed everything? He came to Jesus like, "Hey, I want to follow you." He's like, "Oh, give up all your possessions." He's like, "No can do." No can do. <laughs> no can do. He wasn't open. No. Nope. He wasn't open. You want to pray over there, Dave? Yeah. Father God, I thank you and praise you, Lord, for this word, and that that you would. Uh, uh, Father, uh, help us with the ask and, and break down the walls and the hard ground in our lives, Lord, that you'd till up the soil of our hearts, that we would be teachable, that we would be growing in you. Holy Spirit, you are our teacher. We don't accept every voice as truth, but we listen to you, and as you stir up and show us revelation of what truth is, I thank you, Father, this is what's growing up in us. It's growing us into all you've called us to be. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Watch this clip. No. No. I there's no old school. You did. Yeah, just click this right here. If you're a new subscriber, which you need to subscribe. But if you're new, type in where you're from. Don't forget about our prayer line. We'll mention you on Wednesday. we got a prayer line. Yeah. And if you want to get this uh, every week, uh, every day, you can just text that number that's on there. And uh, we'll send you a text every day. Just click it and away you go. Yeah. See you tomorrow.